Let me introduce to you to Mandela Wrestling Federation's resident ninja, Mr. Ninja Ryujin. <laughs> you were able to guide Ashura through that match as well. From your victory, it is your turn to draw your opponent. Are you ready, sir? Cranky 13. Oh. Ooh. Found you! Froggy! My back still hurts. I know, I understand. I made one simple mistake. That was it. Well, I lost, but I didn't just lose. A part of me is gone. I don't feel like... I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know anymore. Turn off the lights. MWF Road to Fate First Match Ninja Ryujin vs. Frankie 13 the whole contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! <laughs> 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 get a lowdown of our competitors for the first match of MWF Road to Fate. Ninja Ryujin has a very diverse offense being the master of ninjutsu. He has a wide range of kicks and grappling holds that gives him an edge over most other competitors in Manila Wrestling Federation. Also, Ninja Ryujin has his Asai DDT that he can pull off as a counter to a lot of different positions. Frankie 13, one of the taller competitors in the roster, he uses both length and agility in order to address problems presented by his opponents in the ring. He also has the Angel Bullet, a diving double foot stomp that lets him finish his opponents. We are looking to see a fairly competitive match as an opener to MWF Road to Fate. Ninja! Woo! Go Frankie! All right, the very first match of MWF Road to Fate is underway. Ninja Ryujin versus Frankie 13. Two now sizing each other up, they lock up. Frankie gets the armor. And reverses it with his own just lock. Frankie reverses it, transitions to a headlock. And turns around. Oh, and another headlock. Just trying to show off now. But Frankie with a mask. <sighs> Alright. So we now have, uh, I guess, two masked wrestlers in the ring now. 
and Ninja Region reverses it to headlock of his own. Frankie trying to get out of it. Arm twist into a wrist lock of his own. Oh! With a twirl. Ninja Ryujin. Ooh! Makes Frankie 13 go to the ground. As if it will, but Frankie 13 reverses it. Step over toe hold. Pushing on the toes. And now he goes into a headlock once again. Some good grappling we're witnessing here in the very first match of Emily of Road to Fate. Off the ropes. Shoulder block by Ninja Region. Oh, the referee kind of got in the way. Oh, flip. Lariat missed. Oh, spinning heel kick by Ninja Ryujin, the master of ninjutsu. Frankie 13. Now lost that exchange. Yeah, to find another way to get the better off Ninja Region. Oh, Sling Blade! Just when, just when I was talking about him, trying to get some advantage here. Now we may be able to see more of Frankie 13's offense. Oh, and Frankie taking off the mask. And some air to breathe. Like trip into his cover. Only two. Uh, Frankie with his own leg trip. Only two. Oh! Ninja Ryujin with a kick. Sending, sending Frankie 13 to the ground. I apologize for the camera angle here. If you're not aware, we're still trying to work things around it. I only record these matches my own accord and I upload them here to my channel my YouTube channel and while we're still trying to work the kinks out when it comes to our production side of things I'm gonna find a way to you know make this more of a regular thing being able to film our live matches and promote Manila Wrestling Federation as it grows over time this is only our third live show of course and we're still, you know, looking at various avenues which we can develop our brand. So, of course, you know, these these little things, these little niggles do come up. Some beautiful chain wrestling going on here. Oh, into the Omoplata face lock here by Frankie 13. Oh, but Ninja Ryujin fighting out of it. Oh, into a triangle armbar position here by Frankie 13. This match and the next match, Moises Liwanek versus Aldrin Richards. Oh, get the bang in the head there. This and the second match are, well, they come at this weird camera angle because I didn't have a cameraman yet. So, oh, wait a minute, what's this? Frankie 13 with his, uh, with part of his ring gear, his, uh, his plaid jacket. And wait a minute, is this legal? Well, the referee is just letting him do it. Oh, a kick to the sternum by Frankie 13 to a tied up Ninja Ryujin. But somehow, uh, I don't know if uh, Frankie 13 knows his Boy Scout knots or, or if Ninja Ryujin is just a master of escapology. But he got out of that, uh, that tie up rather easily. Now Ninja Ryujin outside the ring. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Frankie 13 follows him. Gives him a diving fist drop.
The Ninja region now dazed and still on the concrete. Ooh, I apologize for this. We don't have additional footage of uh, Frankie 13 trying to deal damage to Ninja Region here. This is my problem. This is my main problem with the first two matches. All right, now Frankie 13 bringing Ninja Region back into the ring. They're still in the apron. Still on the apron. Ninja Region. A kick to the gut there. Oh! Is that an ace crusher on the apron? That's dangerous. The apron being the hardest part of the ring. It's almost as if you gave an ace crusher on the concrete. Almost. You hurt the opponent, but you also hurt yourself. It's a pretty hard bump to take. And now both competitors are now in the ring finally which means my camera gets to record it somehow and now the two competitors exchanging blows in the ring with the view being blocked by the red corner unfortunately um, I apologize for that uh, more punches by Ninja Ryujin to Frankie 13 Ooh, spinning, spinning back fist there. Oh, arm drag by Ninja Ryujin. And another arm drag. Hmm. Frankie 13 being played around here by the master of ninjutsu. Of course. What tricks are up his uh, non-existent sleeves there. Oh, drop kick to the corner. Impact so great, it makes the ropes of the ring shake. And quiver in anticipation of what's to come. Is this? Oh. That's from the axe kick to... Now, Frankie applying a submission hold here. Ninja now having to escape this predicament. Oh, stomp to the back. Frankie. Oh, Enzigiri. Only a two count. And now Frankie is a... Uh, trying to think of ways to somehow end this match in his favor. Uh, Fireman's carry. Right. Uh, kind of an airplane spin here. Benadriller! Benadriller, a variation of a go-to sleep. The go-to sleep from the fireman's carry position, you drop the opponent onto your knee, onto a knee strike. With the Benadriller, you set him up, you drop him, and then hit a roundhouse kick. And now, Frankie going up, setting up his angel bullet double stomp, but he was too late. Ninja got out of the way. And Ninja has an opportunity to Mount his offense here, make a comeback. Spinning heel kick. Downing Frankie 13. Now Frankie getting back up. Oh, sling blade again. Uh, weak cover there by Frankie. Both competitors are now getting, getting worn out. They have to end it. They have to end things now before, you know, they lose their own reserves to mount any other significant offense. Oh, what's this? Uh oh! Reversed! To an Asai DDT! 
and Ninja Ryujin gets it. Ninja Ryujin reverses that Dragon Sleeper into his Asai DDT. And that's it for Ninja Ryujin versus Frankie 13. Now Frankie getting back up. Ninja offering a handshake. Frankie takes it. Great show, sportsmanship. Pretty okay opener for MWF Road to Fate. It was a good competitive match. And here's a uh, Tristan Paul Creed. The start of the event was plagued by microphone issues. Oh, for heaven's sake. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you in the little stores, to be honest. All I had in my nose was the last match in the middle of the water. It was pretty far pocket. I would, to be honest, I would underestimate it. I'm sure you Sorry for what you guys do, but hey, you get me one good feel. All right, and what's next for you? <laughs> um, Frankie 13 uh, having to continue his, uh, his education <laughs> after this match.